Hey everybody, this is Tim Grotman, and this is the ecosystem generator. So let's start with the default layout. And you can open the ecosystem generator with ecosystem open panel and just dock that into, the, into your layout. Now it works by uh, just add a mesh to your scene and with that mesh selected use the ecosystem menu and you can add sample layers to any mesh that you drag into the scene. When you have your mesh selected you can uh, show and hide each layer with the checkboxes for each layer and there's properties for each item that you can manipulate. You can alter the minimum and maximum scale. There, there are several things that you can tweak. So you can tweak the rotation the scale and the position offset and the spacing between the different foliage items that generate. So here I'm tweaking the minimum and maximum scale. And you can see as the items are tweaked, they scale. Anytime you move your parent uh, mesh item, in this case it's a capsule, it will uh, mark the uh, mark the settings as dirty and then it'll regenerate the foliage. You can also regenerate the foliage positions by moving the item given that you've selected one of the layers. If you click select none and move it uh, it won't generate in case you want to move it more quickly. So here we're tweaking some of the sample flower types. In the scene we've got several several different foliage items and we plan on adding more. These are just the ones that we're testing with now. Here I can tweak the scale to make the items very large. Add some smaller flowers around it for big flowers. You can see it from multiple angles. Alright, let's just delete that. You can add other different mesh types, like a standard plane. Just add layers to the plane. You can add one layer at a time, or you can just add six at a time, which should just use our sample layers. Now with a single layer selected, you can change the foliage type that's used by that layer. You can add additional layers. So now we have four layers. Each layer has a different item. The visibility can be toggled. And if you look at the action list, it highlights in brackets which layer is selected. So here, I'm actually modifying one of the hidden layers to make it really tiny. For that little 
moss plant thing. Here's a taller grass item. You can reduce its size. You can alter the density of the items. So there's some spacing things. Um, space. Uh, you can alter the spacing between items uh, within the generated foliage. You can also make the density uh, less. It's it's capped at 200 items. In the sample message, we, we have an example terrain you can drop in. I'm just going to scale it up so it fits in our scene here. Okay, we need to add the, the sample layers. And you'll see this time it's not a flat plane, so it will raycast it along the uh, along the surface and position each foliage item where it needs to be so that it'll it'll follow along your terrain also if you look at the, the gizmo and the stats you'll see that all the generated items are grouped together so that it only takes one draw call These combined meshes are created. And all the same items of a, a similar kind are bunched together. So they can be used in a single draw call. As you move the, the parent will recast. And it recasts uh, downward along the y-axis to position the items. can also decorate a sphere. So with the sphere selected, add the sample layers, and there you go. The sphere is wearing a flower hat. scale the capsule down, but the same way we added foliage to the sphere, you can add it to any shape, anything that has a mesh renderer and a mesh filter. It will automatically get the size of it and distribute all the foliage along the size of the item using the bounding box. So we have 
variety of items down and we plan on adding more items. And while you have a layer selected, you can change the prefab model that's used. So yeah, that's the ecosystem generator and it should help you generate foliage with very few draw calls on anything that you have a, a mesh renderer.